what is going on with youtube this is dave from tech refresh coming at you with another video this is my first impression and hands-on of the google pixel 2 and the google pixel 2 xl all right first things first i need you guys to do me a favor no i'm not asking you to subscribe or like or any of that off the bat i'm asking you to ignore the bad footage. Look, I took this footage with my Galaxy S8 Plus. I didn't have a tripod. I wasn't lugging that to the store. Um, and so it's gonna be shaky. It's not gonna be very crisp because the phone was tucked away in a dark corner. Uh, so the lighting is all bad, but there's some questions I wanted to answer. I've been looking at videos on the internet and I've been seeing questions in the comments. So I saw some intriguing questions and I said, let me go check this phone out and see if I can answer some of these questions. First off, let's talk about build quality. And the one question I've been seeing are about the bezels. Are the bezels too big? Well, throw the Pixel uh, 2 out of the window. We know it has big bezels. That's not the phone that most people are interested in. Let's talk about the XL2. Are the bezels too big? I'm coming from a Galaxy S8 Plus that has very minimal bezels. I, I played with this phone for approximately 30 minutes. The store was closing, so I had to do everything pretty fast. But the bezels in no way were too big. Um, I didn't notice them. It didn't feel that much different than the S8 Plus, to be honest. And to be completely honest, I'm coming from, before that, a Galaxy S7 Edge, which has way bigger bezels than this, and I didn't have a problem, thought that was a great phone. The build quality, as far as the screen and the bezel to screen ratio, is very, very good. You can see in this footage, I do not understand what people are talking about, about the bezels being too big. Now, one thing that I read several comments about, and these are from people who've gone to Verizon stores and tested out the phone, and I thought they were just, I really didn't know what to make out of what they were saying, but people were saying that this phone doesn't feel like it's metal. It feels like it's plastic. Now, we know Google got on in the keynote and said it's metal, so we know it's metal. They're not lying about that. But yeah, there has to be some type of coating or something on the phone because it didn't feel like a, a metal phone in the way that an iPhone feels metal and gets cold or the HTC M8, that metal unibody construction, it didn't feel like that. It must have some type of coating, but yeah, I do know what people mean uh, by it felt plasticky. And actually, I had to tap on the back of the phone and it still felt not like metal. I didn't get a metal sound. Another thing with build quality is the power button. I haven't really heard anybody talk about this in their video, but it seems that we're getting two different power buttons. On the all black XL, um, Pixel XL 2, the power button felt like it was metal. On the blue version of just the uh, Pixel 2, that teal power button felt plastic. It was definitely a different feel, uh, and I think it is plastic. So I'm assuming that the orange one on uh, the Panda uh, XL2 is going to be plastic, but they did not have the uh, black and white version at the store. One more thing with the build quality, the camera bump is pretty pronounced compared to last year's version of the Pixel. I really liked the Pixel last year, the camera on the back. It was just clean and smooth. This one does have a ring around it uh, that does protrude out. I wish uh, it, it didn't have a camera hump, but it does. Let's talk about the screen. This is, is something I've read in the comments of pretty much every video of people who have actually uh, tested the Pixel uh, 2 or Pixel XL 2. People talk about a blue tint with the whites on the phone. And um, to be honest, I didn't know that. And I was actually looking for it. Went to the messaging app. That was like the screen that I get, you know, find where it's pretty much all white. And I did not see a blue tint. You can't see a blue tint um, in the video. I know it's a bad video. Uh, you don't got to remind me. But there's no blue tint. I could not find a blue blue tint with the whites on this phone. But a lot of people are reporting that. So maybe it's something in the settings or something. But hopefully this phone does not sh um, ship with the whites having a blue tint. Another question people are having. These are the little things that the bigger tech channels are not going to answer. Uh, when you watch media like YouTube, does it fill the screen on the XL2? Can you punch the video in? The answer is no. Uh, at least I couldn't figure out a way to do it. Hopefully, um, they'll be able to patch that in somehow if you don't have the ability to do it. But no, you get the two black bars 
on either side. Uh, there's no ability like the S8 Plus where you can punch it in and it kind of crops the photo, but it takes the whole screen. That did not have that option on YouTube. Um, and that's something I definitely want to see in the Pixel 2. A lot of people want to know about the speaker quality. I tested both speakers. I played a video on both phones. People also had the questions, are the speakers the same? I, You know what? I, I got an untrained ear, but the XL2 um, felt like it, it was a better quality, and I might be lying, uh, but it, that's the way it sounded to me. They both get fairly loud, um, but they both sound good. The, the regular Pixel 2, it, it sounded good. It just didn't sound as loud. I don't know if because maybe the speaker grill is larger. I couldn't really make out the reason why I thought it sounded better, but I'm pretty sure somebody will cover this uh, and do a sound test and prove me to be wrong and they're gonna be both <laughs> exactly the same. But the Pixel XL2 uh, sounded better in my opinion. Another question I've been uh, seeing, and this one, unfortunately, I don't have the best answer for you. People want to want to know if it has a LED light. I couldn't find one. Hopefully, it's buried in the speaker. I asked the rep from Verizon, but it, you know, you know how that goes. They said they just got the phone, so they're still learning them. Um, and he doesn't think it has a LED. I personally think it does. I think I, I think I've seen enough evidence that it does have one, but I cannot confirm it. I couldn't download any. Um, any app that could show the LED because you got to log in on, in the Play Store and I'm not about to do that in a Verizon store. Uh, but I so I can't confirm that, but I think it has one. But that is a big deal to a lot of people. People like that visual notification. Not everybody wants to leave the always on display. And so having an LED would be nice. All right. I think that's kind of all the questions that I was able to answer in the little 30 minutes I had. There's more questions and maybe I'll go spend more time with it or maybe it'll be at my house soon. But here's some observations that I made and these weren't questions I've read online, but things that I just observed. One, I really like the blue color on the Pixel 2. I really wish that, that they had that color for the XL2 or at least a funky color. To me, black and white is not funky enough. That's kind of classic. Uh, some kind of color to rival the blue color that they have on the Pixel 2. Another thing, really overall, the original Pixel didn't, it just didn't do enough for me to to switch uh, from my Galaxy S7 Edge at the time. I just I just wasn't having it. It just, uh, the hardware itself, it, they just couldn't sway me. I think this one is built well enough to where if you want it, the hardware is not a detriment to you going out and getting it. Um, we know what the uh, original Pixel did with the camera, and I got to test this camera, but I don't have the footage. I didn't really know how to get that transferred to myself. So took some pictures. They look great. The camera's going to be great. The hardware is good enough, um, and there's really nothing holding this phone back. We know it's going to get better every year, and this is a great start to uh, Google finally building some, some good hardware in the phone. All right, get active in the comments. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Pixel videos will be rolling out. I'll get at you guys another time. Peace.